Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Remedy bringing you more information, um, bringing more awareness, because a lot of times we go through things in life on autopilot. We just go through the motions, go through the actions of things and not really pay attention about what's really going on in the background and metaphysical background of our existence, of this reality, of this world, of everything that we go through. Um, this video, I'm going to be talking about the harmful chemicals that are inside the shampoo, conditioner, lotions, chapstick, grease, etc. Um, they are dimethicone, sulfates, and parabens. Now the dimethicone, it is a silicon-based polymer. The polymer just means uh, that it's, it's a very large molecule. Um, they use it in a lot of products to make things easily spreadable. So if, you, if you're making lotion, you want lotion, when you rub it to your hands, you want it to spread very easy. I know in my past, I've used certain lotions, the bootleg lotions or something like that, where they're very watery and they don't spread easy. So that is the main reason they use dimethicone for. It, is it very, it's, it's spread very easily. That's why it's in a lot of conditioners. That's why conditioner is slippery and it glides over your skin very easy because it's dimethicone, that's what they use it for. But the dimethicone, it puts a coat, it creates a coat structure over your over, or you, over your skin and it traps in a lot of things that shouldn't be trapped. Like uh, sebum, which is oily excretions, um, bacteria, um, which increases the likelihood of you getting breakouts and having blackheads. Dimethicone also is a toxic pollutant attractor. It magnetizes or attracts toxic chemicals out of the air and it Attack, it magnetizes it closer to your hair and it attaches itself to your hair. Even the particulate, the dust particulates, it attaches that to your hair too. So dimethicone is not something that you want to be using for your hair. It even causes, it even causes hair loss. Now who would have known that the things that we use for our hair actually is doing us a disservice. It's actually harmful to our hair and it's not good at all. Um, dimethicone makes you to, it causes you to lose your hair um, and it's very, very heavy on your skin, especially with the, with the understanding that it attracts everything out the air, all the bad pollutants, the toxic chemicals, and it, 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 it attracts it all out the air onto your hair. Um, another bad chemical that is used in our shampoos and conditioners is parabens. Parabens, uh, mimic estrogen and they cause the splitting of the cells of the breast to go in overdrive and to basically uh, it, it, it brings it, it, it makes it go into a chaotic state and it, it throws the rhythm um, and the regulation of cell division. It, it increases it. It speeds it up very fast. And if it speeds it up very fast, passes uh, past its normal speed rate or whatever, that means that you increase the likelihood of getting breast cancer. Yes, there are chemicals inside the shampoo and the conditioner where you can still get breast cancer. Um, the paraben is not good at all. Like I said, it mimics estrogen. It increases the speed of the cell divisions, which it doesn't need to be increased because all it's going to do is increase your likelihood of getting breast cancer, especially if you're a female um, or Bruce Jenner, too, maybe. But I don't know if it works like that, but I'm just playing. But um. The next one is sulfates. They use sulfates in uh, conditioners. No, no, no. Matter of fact, the sulfates that are in the in the shampoos, is sulfates aren't really in conditioners. That would that wouldn't really make any sense. I don't think the sulfates strip your hair and your scalp of the natural oils. So the more you use shampoos, because you're not even supposed to use anything that. Um, that lathers up into a soapy substance, into a bubbly substance. You're not even supposed to use anything like that on your hair. Your hair is very, very sensitive. And us as blacks, Hispanics, whatever, we have curly hair. So when we use these products, they strip the natural oil from our hair and it makes our hair split, break off and all these. Yeah, and, and, and these chemicals also cause breaking, splitting, hair damage. Uh, the color of your hair will fade. Um, your black shiny hair will look less and less black. It will, it, it will start to have a dull and a non shiny look to it. Um, so the, I, I did all three of them now, right? 
So I've talked about the dimethicone, which causes hair loss. Um, I talked about the parabens, which mimic estrogen and increase the likelihood of you getting breast cancer if you're a female. And even if you're a male, it's bad for your hair anyway. So the sulfates, they strip natural oils off of your hair and your scalp and the parabens mimic the estrogen. Yeah, I already said that. But yeah, these chemicals are very bad. You want to look for, when you go shopping for anything, this is what I tell my um, my wife, um, Jessica, that when you're looking for, when you're, when you're looking for food and certain things like that, when you're looking for anything, let it say no, no, no. I mean... Obviously, not if you ever want to buy Jordans or something like that. You don't care if it says no, no, no. But no, that basically implies that when you see no, no, no on a product, no blank, no, uh, no paraben, no this, no that. When it says no, it's basically saying that there's nothing harmful or the harmful chemicals that are in there that are that were very high. They have brought down to a very low level, maybe to even a non-existent level, but. When you look for shampoo and hair products and you know everything like that, especially conditioners and shampoos, let it say no parabens, no sulfates, no dimethicone, um, and there's a whole bunch of other chemicals that I will be uh, delving deep in and, and, and basically um, having a dialogue about and speaking, making a video on to share with you people information that you probably have not heard of before, such as the dyes and everything. Well. That's all the time we have. We're going to go to a commercial break. Uh, like and subscribe. Love you guys. Have a, have a beautiful day. <laughs> it's time to eat.